We continue to follow breaking news of a bridge collapse in Baltimore after a ship runs into it. Hannah Flood joins us now in the Live Center with uh, what we know so far. And this is a major thoroughfare of Baltimore affecting a lot of people. Absolutely. Yes, Alice, this is a, a big bridge, a main thoroughfare for the city and really a developing story here this morning. We do know that several vehicles fell into the river when the bridge collapsed and rescuers have been out searching this morning. They're looking for seven people in the water. They say they've rescued two so far this morning. One person who is in the hospital with serious injuries. And now that the sun is up, we're getting a much better look at the scene here. This is an aerial view of what's left of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Now, Adrian Agencies say they received 911 calls around 1.30 their time this morning, reporting a ship leaving Baltimore struck a column on the bridge. Several vehicles were on the bridge at the time, including one the size of a semi. Search and rescue efforts are expected to last for 8 to 12 hours here, so not out of the woods yet by any means. The crash that we were talking about, that moment of impact, was captured on camera. If we can show that, it shows the vessel here off to the left hitting one of the, the piers of this bridge and you see the bridge just collapse, that bridge deck just go right into the water. The vessel appears to have hit one of the bridge's supports, causing that road to break. The ship caught fire, sending thick black smoke into the air and that's what you're seeing to the left here on your screen right now. Officials say some cargo appears to be dangling from the bridge, which is making search and rescue efforts much more difficult this morning. The structure uh, is absolutely unsecure right now. Uh, and this is your tracking data showing the path that the cargo ship took out of the the port, leaving the port of Baltimore before turning into the Patsico River and headed towards the bridge. Investigators are still trying to figure out why that ship slammed into the structure. There is absolutely no indication that there's any terrorism, that, that this was done on purpose. Our criminal intel is working with the FBI and other federal and state agencies to get all the intel that we have, but there's absolutely no indication that it was intentional. Yeah, and that will obviously be a big part of the investigation. Uh, where this happened, the bridge is a vital artery along with the port of Baltimore. That is a huge shipping hub on the East Coast. That bridge opened in 1977. Obviously, it's going to be a, a very long time until anyone's traveling that route again. And again, now officials saying potentially that port will also be closed. Synergy Marine Group, which owns and manages that ship, confirmed the vessel hit the pillar of the bridge under the control of two pilots. The company says all crew members, including the pilots of the ship, are accounted for and were not hurt. We will keep you updated on this story as it continues this morning but obviously still very much developing uh, since this only happened last night. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the research and rescue efforts, it's very yeah. cold there right now, yeah. and the water is very choppy, so I can imagine um, those first responders, what a difficult job that is. Yeah, the water temperature, 47 degrees right now. That is, that's rough. Hypothermia within mm -hmm. an hour. All right, thank you, Hannah.